I'm an old school gamer. My Not because it's in, because people want to do retro. I'm an old school gamer because that's what I grew up with. My first system was an NES, followed by a Game Boy. I remember the Christmas where I got a Genesis. My brother got a Super Nintendo. Um, so these systems have always meant a lot to me. Uh, for a while, I've been thinking about using a Raspberry Pi to create some kind of portable game system. And I have set up a retro pie in the living room uh, that the kids use and they're enjoying seeing some of the games from my youth and my wife and I play with it. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to try these portable systems. And then I was watching uh, the YouTube channel Retro Game Core um, where this um, guy takes a look at all these uh, retro systems. He gives really, really in-depth reviews. He does a lot of thorough testing. Um, over a lot of systems and um, he talks about um, cheaper categories and more expensive categories and um, you know for something that I wasn't sure how much I was gonna play because I do tend to spend a lot of time um, programming and reading and doing other things although I do love video games as anybody who's been to this channel knows um, and so I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on it uh, but then he mentioned uh, the Pow Kitty um, the RGB Max 3, which uh, as far as I know, just came out. Um, I think they had like a release sale that I was a part of, and it just came from China a couple days ago. Um, it's not too expensive. And um, so I said, okay, this is a good way to test it out and see if it's something I wanna play. Um, so uh, I've done some unboxings on this channel. I don't typically do too many, but I wanted to do a little unboxing video and a little test video just to kind of uh, share with you guys uh, what this system's all about. All right, so let's get this guy opened up. All right, so there's this little panel here that's uh, kind of roughly the shape of the system. And here it is, right here. All right, so uh, you may notice we've gone to a different location. Uh, that's because I realized uh, the last time I was filming that we ended up uh, a little out of focus. So, um, as I was saying before, um, let me turn this on so you can see what it's like when it's turned on. <coughs> you can see there's um, JLOS, which probably most people pronounce as Jealous, that's fine. All right, still booting up. All right, so it boots up into a version of um, em uh, Emulation Station, and actually, it also has music playing in the background. i lower that again. Um, so it has, you know, all these different systems that it supports. Um, you know, based on whatever ROMs you have in there. And then, you know, once you go in, let's pick uh, Nintendo, for example. Here you've got your descriptions, the game, you've got some art. Um, I was surprised that the game actually supports all the way up to Nintendo 64 and Nintendo DS. Um, I don't remember if uh, Retro Game Core had mentioned that. It seems a bit high considering how cheap the system is. And I played a couple of games. I played, um, um, where is it down here, Cruising USA and it worked fine, it, it ran well, so um, that was pretty pretty neat, a pretty, pretty good, exciting uh, difference from what I expected. Um, the only thing I can say, having played with it a little bit, um, I'm not sure if the analog sticks are truly analog, uh, or at least they don't seem to have a lot of play so that um, it's not easy to play, like in 64, it's not really easy to play a game where you're trying to just push a little bit on the stick. Um, but maybe I'm just used to more play on the sticks in um, controllers for Xbox and stuff like that. I'll have to play with it a little bit more, but mostly I bought this for the retro games anyway, so it's fine that it doesn't support that. And of course, um, both of these sticks here, they're, they're, all, um, they're all digital, or at the very least, if L and R2 um, 
if those are analog, they don't have very far to go, but they don't feel analog. They feel digital. It feels like click, click, click. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing I like about it is that it's a lot um, lighter than a switch. Um, I was afraid this was going to feel very heavy on my palms. It actually feels lighter than um, my cell phone does, which is nice because my cell phone sometimes, I don't play very often on my cell phone, but I've played a little bit of Gwent and that did kind of give me some RSI issues. So it's kind of nice not to have to worry about that uh, with this system. So um, overall, I'm going to have a link to the RetroCore Games uh, review um, in the bottom because he does a much, um, he does a much more in-depth a review. This does also support uh, Moonlight if you want to stream your games and so on. Um, but uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't really have the experience that he does in order to do a full review. I just kind of wanted to show my thoughts about it, how I felt about it. Um, you know, overall, I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the price. I'm happy with how it feels, how it looks, um, the software that's on there. Um, so, yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to um, getting many, many hours with this, um, you know, when I travel or maybe in an idle moment. Um, as I said earlier, I don't play video games too often, and when I do, I'm playing usually newer stuff versus um, my older games, but I do, you know, really uh, enjoy playing those games that remind me of my youth, so, um, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.